Yo, what is going on guys in this video today? I'm going to be talking to you guys about what's the best weapon in Valorant. So let's get right into it. Alright, so basically what I'm saying is a it goes with your gameplay. So if you're like a if you're like a attacker and you wanna like push people and push people, snipers will not be like in your in your thing. Because you don't wanna have a sniper and then run up to someone and they have a shotgun or an AR or an SMG they will mow you down so you would completely die but the thing about having a sniper is there's one sniper that's like a thousand dollars that's completely awful you have to shoot him t twice with that weapon to get the kill which to me that makes no sense a sniper should be a one shot body shot or a headshot it should be a one shot but then you got the other sniper that costs four thousand dollars and you hit them in their big toe, they're dead. You hit them anywhere, they're dead. It's a, it's a complete one-shot kill, but it's going to be very hard for you to buy it because of the... You probably, if you're doing bad, you probably will not buy it at all because it's such a high, high weapon and a lot of money, you have to buy it. But, so, that is that. You don't, if you're an attacker, you don't want a sniper. Now, if you're like a chilled person and you like to lay back, then then you can use a sniper. And but you have to be pretty good at sniper though, because you cannot jump and aim like I mean you can, but it's very off. It's just like Fortnite. It does not have recoil. It has bullet spray, which it would honestly make it better if it did have recoil because of the whole whole thing. Because you can you can jump and then the bullets literally go not where you're aiming at all. It goes up, down, side. But it just so if you like I said, you don't want to have a sniper if you're an attacker. So let's get into ARs. All right. So this is honestly my favorite weapons. There are a couple ARs, which I like the one that looks like an AK. So basically. That's that's going to be like I think the best weapon in in Valorant. So in in this video, I am using that weapon a lot, and then I am using the shorty as my backup weapon. But that's like that's like my main things I rock. But that's there's a lot of other good weapons also. But that's the main weapon I rock and. There's an also another one that looks similar to the AK, but it's the one up up above it. It is it is actually I mean, it's not bad, but if you're going to it's the same price as the AK. So if you're going to buy anything like that, you would want to buy the AK because AK if you hit them one shot in the head, they're dead. And the other gun, they're not dead. But so if I was you guys and you guys just gonna pay for either of them, I would pay for the AK. So it's a it's a lot. It does more damage, and it's a lot. It's a lot more powerful, and so that's that's it for the AKs. So let's get to the LMGs. The LMGs, are, in my opinion, are awful. So the LMGs, they are two of them. And they're honestly pretty AIDS. And I, if I was you guys, I would not buy them at all. So one's called the Ares, which that's, that costs 1700 But that is not like, I mean, it's not bad because you can probably mow down two people with it at max. Or, th or maybe three if you get headshots. Because it's such a, the bullet spray in this game, you do not want that gun especially if you're a pusher and it's just a it's just not a good gun to run with either is the um don i think that's what it's called that's the other lmg it's not that good you do you guys like don't want this these guns at all i never use them ever unless they're like my i don't have much money for anything so i'll just buy the aries i will never buy the don at all whatsoever it's awful Never buy it. All right, so let's get into the. That so there's more actually more rifles. So the Guardian is one like I would say 
top three weapons for ARs. Or like the whole thing. Well, primary weapons. So, the Guardian, it's a, it's a one shot. So, like you gotta have, you gotta have like a trigger finger to shoot really fast. But, it's, it's actually one of my favorite weapons. Because, if you, if you get a good shot on they're dead in one shot, headshot, they're dead. And it does a lot of damage. It's the most done damage for the rifles. So, let's move on to the Bulldog. So, the Bulldog is actually, I mean, it's not bad. I think it's a three-round burst because it's, it's not that good. If I was you guys and I was paying for a rifle, I would either do the Guardian or the Vandal, which is the AK, which is my favorite, and I use that all the time. All right, let's get right into the shotguns. All right, so basically the shotguns there's a bucky which awful never if if i was you guys i would never use this bucky ever it's it's the worst shotgun in this game by far but the other one um judge it's a very it's a very balanced weapon until you get a far far range but in close range it's it's very balanced you hit them once they're dead in the head they're dead and it got a fast fire rate other than and the other than the other shotguns and then for the sidearm for shotgun it is the shorty which this is my secondary weapon i rock most of the time i normally run the the i normally run the vandal and then the shorty as my as my um secondary weapon because if I'm up close battle with someone and I'm just waiting for someone to walk through a door, I will use that shorty to kill someone immediately if they walk through because it's a one shot kill if they are close. But it's, you guys can tell in my video, I'm rocking the shorty and the vandal most of the game. And then I'll switch it up sometime to time operator to try to get some good clips with it. But other than that, that's my two weapons I use the most if I have the mo most money. So let's get into the SMGs. Okay, so there's two SMGs. It's the Stinger and the Spectra. So the Stinger is a three-round burst, but I think you can make it to a automatic. But if you guys make it to the automatic, it's a lot better than the three-round burst, which I like it a lot better. And then the Spectra is also one of my favorites. If, especially if I don't have enough money to get the Vandal, I will get the Spectra because it is super... It's super... Super balanced. It, you're gonna need to be like somewhat closer to them because if you're not somewhat close, it's kind of bad from far range. So that's the SMG. So let's get into the sidearms. Okay. So the classic pistol. If I was you guys and you guys was like rocking an attacker skin, if I was you guys, I would just keep rocking the sidearm and get the and get your abilities because. If you need your abilities, you can use that to your advantage. Other people won't be getting getting that. But there's also a thing that you can shoot it three bullets at a time. But you cannot keep doing it. You got to like say you do it. You gotta wait like a second after. So how you gonna do this is you're gonna have to right click like how you're supposed to aim on your mouse. Right click it and then it shoots three bullets, which that can also happen on the Bucky. It shoots a lot more bullets, but. So that's that's the original pistol, the frenzy. What can I say about the frenzy? It's well balanced. It's a automatic. It's it's very balanced. I love this gun, and that's pretty much it for the frenzy. Ghost. If I'm rocking like a shotgun, I will use the ghost because it's you hit someone in the head, they're dead completely. It's a one shot kill in the head. But that's basically it about the ghost. But the sheriff. Is honestly one of my favorites because this is like a two shot kill if you hit him in the body, but you're going to want to stand still to shoot someone or like right in their mouth. Because if they're far, if they're like far away, you can stand still and it'll, and it'll shoot fine. But this gun's bullet spray is awful. If you jump and try to hit someone, it is complete garbage. So that's going to be it to the for the, today's video. 
hope you guys enjoyed and the reason why I've been posting much is because I got this new PC I'm trying to do this Vegas Pro it's a lot harder than what I used to do on PlayStation but like comment subscribe and give me to 100 subscribers I know you guys can unfortunately we didn't make it by the end of April but it's alright because we can get 150 subscribers I believe 150 subscribers at the end of May and it's my birthday May 12th so give me at least 100 by the time I hit my birthday. So like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.